Hi, it's Andy from Cytomic here, and I'm pleased to announce Cytomic is teaming up with Dopefer and VCV to model some of Dopefer's classic Eurorack hardware as modules for VCV rack. In this video, I'll show you the first module to be completed, an analog model of the A124 WASP filter. I'll have the model and the hardware running side by side, processing the same input, with the model and its audio on the left, the hardware and its audio on the right, and an oscilloscope showing both the output signals together in the middle. Let's jump right in with the comparison. bring in some resonance now. Back off the drive now. So you can hear there the filter getting stuck on one of the harmonics and driving into it and then falling off the top end. There's a mix knob which goes between low pass, notch and high pass and then there's a separate jack to switch over for the band pass. Now the hardware filter gets up to about 12,000 Hz 
uh, and loses some of its tracking up high, but I've, um, with the model, I've pushed that right up to 30,000 hertz and kept it tracking uh, one volt per octave so you can use it over a wider range. All right, let's switch over to the bandpass. I hope you got an idea of some of the range of tones you can get out of this little filter. Even though I wasn't using it in a production context, it is super useful either clean or when you want to push it into drive. When you're running it clean, it's got a lot of um, bass and it sounds really smooth and then it responds really well to transients when you do want to push it into clipping. And when the resonance is up, you can get some crazy tones, but um, even with it down, it's just a really useful filter. Oh.